Hello there. So this is uh, my latest introduction to my mineral collection. It's known as a Afghan diamond or um, a golden anhydro. Uh, but it's not actually a diamond. They're just called that because they're gemmy, sparkly crystals. Um, the more well-known Herkimer diamond it's the same thing, it's actually just a very pure form of quartz uh, double terminated crystal which means that it uh, has points at both ends um, and like I said it's very pure apart from this has inclusions um, yellow inclusions which are what give it, give it the name the golden and hydro and the yellow inclusions are actually a petrol or plant oil which according to the person who um, I got this from is half a billion years old but I can't find any references to to confirm that um, and like I said it comes from Afghanistan I believe it's from the Hindu Kush or Kush mountains and uh, yeah it contains these golden yellow inclusions of petrol and this particular specimen is even more interesting because um, there are little bubbles in those inclusions which move around which I will try and show but they're very small because the actual crystal itself is um, it's not exactly massive it's uh, about nine millimeters long they don't seem to form very big crystals this was actually the biggest one that um, the person had for sale. So we'll try and now show the bubbles moving around inside. Okay, so if you concentrate on that uh, yellow patch on the right hand side, hopefully you'll see that bubble moving around as I rock the crystal back and forth. It is a very small bubble. There's actually two bubbles. One's a little bit easier to see than the other one the bubbles are about a millimetre or maybe smaller um, and uh, yeah many sellers will actually refer to these as enhydros but from my understanding that's actually the incorrect term an enhydro is um, I think most people know what a geode is it's a, a nodule of chalcedony which has been cut or broken open to reveal a cavity lined with crystals um, and those crystals are formed from a fluid tra trapped in the nodule sometimes the fluid doesn't form crystals it remains as a fluid and if the nodule is sliced open in such a way where the cavity is not broken and the liquid is still trapped inside you can see that bubble and that's an anhydro whereas these should be referred to as uh, fluid inclusions and I was looking at this earlier with my magnifying lens and I could see a tiny little black speck also in the inclusion I doubt very much that will show because it really is is smaller than the bubble and I think that means that this is what's called a free phase inclusion which means it has a gas which is the bubble uh, which is probably methane it has the fluid which is the yellow oil and it has a solid which is that black speck and um, so yeah hopefully you can see that bulb moving around before I go I'm just going to put this under the long wave ultraviolet light because the oil fluoresces a very bright white blue colour uh, it looks pretty interesting under the light so let's have a look at that Okay, so there's the crystal with no ultraviolet light shining on it and now we'll turn it on and there you can see that petrol glowing up it looks almost white on the uh, camera but it's actually got a hint of blue it's like a very bright bluish white colour and uh, that's my 
Afghan Diamond. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.